<laughs> Hi guys, it's me again. I'm on my second part of the journey now. Um, as you know, I flew today from Shimkent to Astana. I'm now in Astana and I'm now flying to Budapest in Hungary. Uh, we're going to be flying on Wizz Air. Um, so, let me go in and show you the airport and my flight. Actually, that building that you were just looking at isn't actually where I am now. That was the old terminal. I'm in the one just next door to that. And as you can see, it's all shiny uh, and new, nice and sparkly. No shops in here, though. Quite basic. And after passing through security and after checking in, we're here in the departure lounge. You can see... Uh, the duty free shop and the airport is still very shiny number of seats nice big uh, open glass windows so you can see the planes outside not as much to see not that there's a plane there very cold so just walking along um, now and I'll hand you back over to me so um, here we are at Astana Airport and um, Astana was originally had one terminal but what they've done is they've built a new terminal which is the one we're in now which is for the international flights so the original terminal uh, is now for domestic flights only so you can see it's all nice and shiny very modern uh, and new pretty quiet but I guess that's because of the time of day maybe there's, there's not many flights at the moment and here's my boarding pass. After going to the cabin, I would like to ask you to place your carry-on items underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead compartment. We would like to ask passengers sitting at first 12 and 13 to emergency rules to put all their carry-on items in the overhead compartments for takeoff and landing, leaving the floor clear for the obstacles. Please activate flight mode on all your electronic devices which may be connected to a network. If you are not sure is your device suitable for air travel, please switch it off. So as I show you um, as taking off from Astana, um, I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, this isn't my first experience on Wizz Air. I've flown, I've flown them a few times before and I once flew um, from Kiev to London Luton a number of years ago. Um, there was heavy snow at the time um, in both, well certainly in Kiev and it was also snowing in um, well, the London area, in the UK. and. Um, when we got on the plane in Kiev, the pilot actually made an announcement to say that Luton Airport is currently closed, which, is, which of course is where we were heading to. But he said they're going to take off anyway in the hope that the airport reopens by the time we you know, get there a few hours later. Seems a bit strange. Um, but anyway. As we got nearer to Luton, um, the pilot made an announcement saying the airport is still closed and that we're going to have to be diverted um, to, I think it's called, it was called, um, Doncaster Robin Hood Airport or something like that, um, up north, Yorkshire. Um, so we ended up getting diverted there. Uh, and then we had to get, they put on like a special replacement coach to take us, um, you know, from Doncaster Airport to Luton Airport. Um, so I think I was supposed to arrive in Kiev, um, sorry, arrive in London, Luton, in the evening. Instead, I got there in the early hours of the morning. Anyway, here's uh, the boarding card. 
sorry, not boarding card, the uh, safety card. It's an Airbus A320. And this is the in-flight magazine. It wasn't actually that bad, it kept me entertained for a good 10 minutes. I've seen worse. And just as we um, come down to land in Budapest, I'll tell you another quick story on, um, from my experience in Wizz Air. A few weeks after that event, after landing in Doncaster unexpectedly, I flew from Luton to um, Gdansk in Poland and we got on the plane at Luton and it started to snow heavily and they told us that the airport's now closed. So we had to get off the plane and we spent the night um, in the departure lounge at Luton Airport and all I got for it was a five pound food and beverage voucher. Um, but I don't blame Wizz Air for any of these things. It's the fact that the UK can't handle snow. But this flight was pretty uneventful, which is a good thing. No problems here. We took off on time and we landed um, slightly ahead of schedule. All right, down we come. It's always a relief, you know, when you sort of land safely. Always like that feeling. Shame it's a night flight, uh, well, evening flight. It means you don't really get to see that much, I guess, from out the window. The bright lights of Budapest Airport. Right, I'm off the plane now, on the bus. That was a plane we just come on. And there we can see a Jet 2 Holidays plane about to take off. Which apparently is quite a well respected British airline, which I didn't know until yesterday. Okay, so here we are, arrived in Budapest in my hotel. And you know, the flight was uh, fine, got in early actually, um, took off bang on time, so yeah, I mean everything's good. I mean the thing is though, it's quite uncomfortable seats when you're flying on Wizz Air, because the seats don't recline, so you're, um, for a five hour flight, um, it's, it's you know not the best, not ideal, but for the price we paid, 40 euros per person uh, uh, for a single ticket, uh, it's, yeah, it's very good value. So all in all, yeah, happy with that.